Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning, good morning. How are we doing this fine morning? We are doing pretty good. I was just getting ready to go do my paperwork here in the, in the truck. And uh, you see me holding this yellow sign, eh? <laughs> I'm laughing about it because uh, my, la my neighbor don't like me too much, you know? But you know what? I really don't care about him either. <laughs> I forgot to shut off my motor last night, my APU unit. I get a neighbor that likes to call in and complain about it. And uh, here's the note. I'll give you guys a little read over on it. Hopefully, you're going to be able to read it. It says this is the second warning, or this is the second complaint that I have gotten about your motor running on your truck you must shut it off I don't want any more late night calls about this should this happen again a fine will be issued <laughs> oh man yeah, I don't really care about him he don't care about me I don't care about him He's been a pain in the butt all this time that we lived here. He just doesn't want me to have my truck sitting here in the yard. That's all it is, really. Yeah, I don't worry about him. Let him call if he wants to call. Let him call. Issue me a fine, issue me a fine. We'll pay it and move on with life. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But, yeah. I don't really care. He called Penners a little while ago, but a couple of three weeks ago he called Penners about it too. Yeah. I don't care. One of these days I'm going to try and get him on camera and I'm going to confront him. See what his issue really is. Some people just don't like truckers and he's one of them. He just does not like trucks at all. He hates it when every time I come home, he hates it. <laughs> he absolutely hates it, but he, that's the way it is. Uh, here in Canada, the law says uh, if it's my own vehicle, I can bring it home. And it don't matter if there's road restriction or if it's a non-truck route, as long as I don't bring the trailer. I'm allowed to bring my truck to the yard and he can't do anything about it, you know. <laughs> That's the funniest part, you know. Like he just can't do anything about it, so. Well, I thought there was something stuck there in the door there and I went to go grab it. And it's a fl <laughs> one of these flies or whatever. <laughs> but, eh yeah, well. Yeah, nothing I can do about it if you don't like trucks and uh, that's the way life goes, you know. Anyways, I had planned to go today but uh, didn't get a load, so yeah, don't really care either right now because uh, I am pretty darn busy. I just, uh, just finished all my videos. I even uh, rendered yesterday video. I just finished it and it's uploading to YouTube right now, so we are finally caught up with all editing part and all that fun stuff so no it's time to get into the other business part so i guess we will uh we will get our paperwork taken care of and then uh, see what we'll do for the rest of the day we don't get a load and just be at home that's okay though anyways we'll be right back guys hey guys since we are in the truck i figured i would show you this is the drawers that I was telling you guys about yesterday. They uh, were broken off, so uh, 
as you can see I even got a nice uh, mirror in there and everything yep put them nicely back in there looks really nice it works nice everything is super good again locks nicely in place oh yeah just the way I like it they're pretty good doors yep no one I I used to hold my camera up here and somebody complained about the mayonnaise laying over here no I can put my mayonnaise there again and you won't see it <laughs> Anyways, give you guys a little bit of a tour of the truck. That's my bed My wife just washed all the stuff out yesterday and This is my bunk I Can actually put the table down and make this into another table over here. That's got pretty good uh, Pretty good size bunk got the ladder up here to uh, climb up into the bunk Got all kinds of storage up there. We got storage in here, you know Got the microwave over here, got another cabinet over here. We got lots of room over here. And actually on the Volvo, you can get right access to the uh, to the bunk or storage there too, you know. So that's really nice. So anyways, this is pretty much what it looks like. Yeah. So I guess we'll get get to work on our paperwork. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> all the paperwork here, I gotta fill all this out yet. And then, uh, we'll be back, I guess, a little bit later. So guys, we are still in the truck here and uh, finished doing all our paperwork and all that stuff. So now we're gonna go take it over to the yard terminal there, our uh, terminal here in Steinbach. And, uh, drop off our paperwork and then uh, I just figured I would close the show for now and that way I can put the video together and uh, upload it on YouTube there for you guys and uh, so you guys have something to watch right and just a friendly reminder if you haven't put in your number for the hat draw be sure to do it oh yeah look down in the, in the archive for that video and you have a chance to win a hat so be sure to get in your number so with that have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come